Hello and welcome. Uh, my name is Pete. I'm a designer here at Sizzix and I want to tell you about a wonderful offer from HSN. If you go to hsn.com, you will find these three exclusive die sets and a lot more Sizzix goodies besides. So let's take a look at the sets in question. First off, we've got Let Love Grow. You can see this is for the gardener in your life, really. We've got this wonderful boot. We've got the watering can. We've got this gorgeous phrase and all these little elements the foliage and the flowers then next up something a little more whimsical this time we've got the banner we've got the post box tiny little bird there and we've got the bicycle and of course our phrase there's some heart balloons and some more foliage and then finally thinking of you I would choose this set if only for that wonderful wonderful tree but you can see from the three sets, they are all designed by the same designers, so stylistically they go together perfectly. Now let's take a look at some of the examples of what you could be making if you decide to take these dies home, and I do hope you do. Um, so there's Let Love Grow. You can see there's our Wellington Boot Planter. Then Thank You with the lovely banner. You can use this font either as an aperture or you can use the letters itself, as we will see in the next card, which is which is quite monochromatic. And I'm using a silver cardstock from our opulent range. We have silver, we have rose gold, we have gold, we have charcoal and ivory. The five different sets, lots of different textures for you. Then we have the same again. Now we've used this banner and this time we've used the opulent cardstock for the lettering. Quite monochromatic that one. Now, if we look at the next one, this was created using our neutral cardstock. And I'm going to tell you a little more about the cardstock later, but you can see there's that lovely tree coming in again. Then from neutrals to a riot of summer colour, uh, thinking of you, then quite monochromatic again. So we've used two shades of blue and white with that bicycle. And from that, Boom, there you go. How about that for colour? And you can see I've used the foliage to create a, a wreath there. And we've turned the daisy into a little sunflower as well. So lots of creative scope. There is so much you can do with these dyes because of the versatility that we have there. Now, this time, sometimes you don't even need a phrase. Sometimes just a simple graphic image like that speaks volumes. Then we go to more colour. Lovely choice of colours here, that, that gorgeous purple, that green, that pink in the background, really well balanced, simple, simple card, but very high impact, I think. Then this one, a little more contemporary in its stylings, but uh, using several of the elements from the different die sets there. And we'll go to monochromes again, so we're using the opulent silver cardstock on some of our neutral cardstock. Then Life Gives You Lemons. Make a card, how about that? Let love grow. And then let's take, now, talking about simple color palettes, how about this black, white, and that lovely, lovely teal color there. And you can even decorate your envelopes. Imagine somebody receiving this through the post, the amount of thought and care and love that has gone into that. And you could be sending these through the post very soon. Now there are a few more, three more, uh, again, using three of the pinks from the cardstock set. Very, very simple, that lovely teal again. It's just pinks and teal, and of course, white. Lovely, simple statement. Now, talking about a cardstock, we do have two sets of card, one being the coloured cardstock and one being our neutrals. But I want to tell you about the coloured cardstock because what we're getting here are 20 different colours. You get four of each colour in the set. That's 80 sheets in total. One side has this lovely linen texture and the other side is flat. So you're getting the best of both worlds. And it's 80 pounds in weight. So a perfect weight for die cutting and making your base cards. And you can see all those gorgeous, gorgeous colours there. Now, of course, 20 colours. Very, very versatile. And I'll show you why now, because I made up these little cards. now. There we have, we've got spring. There's a spring color palette. Then next up we've got summer. So some lovely fresh colors, and they're all from the same card pack. Then how about autumn? Now you wouldn't think that you would get of all these colors within that one pack of 20. 
Valentine's for when love is in the air. We have Easter there. Then how about Halloween? And finally, of course, we have Christmas. So whether you choose to go with a contemporary color palette or whether you want to go vintage, there's something for everybody in that set. So if you go to hsn.com, put Sizzix in the little banner across the top, you will find the cardstock packs on their website. So check that out. Now, I'm going to make a little card now. One of the ones that we saw earlier, and I'm going to be using my big shot machine. This is the classic, it has been around, it was launched, if memory serves, in 2005, and there are millions of these in the hands of crafters and makers around the world. So if you don't have a machine, if you want to go for a machine, then obviously the big shot is a name that you can trust. Uh, millions of people can't be wrong, and you'll be in very, very good company. Now, let me show you how we get from A to B with die cutting, in case you're not aware, I'm sure many of you are. Now, I've got some white card here. I'm taking this die, which bears the legend, thank you, and I'm gonna place that on there. This time, we are very much going for the aperture, so it's not about the die cuts, it's about what's left behind. And there we are. I'm gonna use some of this wonderful maker's tape. This is a low-tack tape doesn't leave any residue but what it does allow you to do is to ensure that you get perfect registration every time so let's lift that up slide it into my big shot machine and out it comes and then if I peel away that tape which I can do with confidence knowing that it's not going to leave any residue on the card and then what I'll do I'll poke those little letters out and you'll see there is our sentiment and you can keep the letters for another make but there we are we'll pop that to one side for a second now another thing that I want to draw to your attention is um, adhesive sheets now these come in um, you can there is a bundle on hsn.com of our most popular adhesives, one of them being permanent adhesive sheets. We have our express glue, there's also the wonderful foam tape, and there's our lovely uh, tape roller. So what this does, is it's almost like double-sided tape, but in a six inch square. And what you can do is peel the backing off this, and in fact, I think I'll do that for you today. So I peel the backing off, and then I'll attach it to the back of this square. Of silver card. Now when I die cut this effectively what it's doing is it's turning this cardstock into a sticker so whatever you die cut you can attach straight to your project and we'll illustrate that now with uh, using our tree die. Now this wonderful wonderful tree that I uh, waxed lyrical about before. Well what we've done I've actually pre-cut some of the pieces uh, this being one of them and I backed it with the adhesive sheets. Now let's just peel away that backing um, once I get that. So there we have it. So die cuts beautifully as one would expect with Sizzix ties and Sizzix machines and then all you do is simply place that there so there's no fiddling about with with glues or adhesives of any type. Any type simply attach the double-sided sheets to the back of your cardstock. And there we have it. Now, that's almost ready to go, but there is one other thing that I need. And I need a butterfly. Of course, this is gonna be, this is gonna set the whole design off. Now, you'll notice that I've used some of this um, sticky foam tape. This is double-sided as well, and I've put a little piece on the back there. It's absolutely wonderful stuff. It's a dream to work with, it really is. Now, let's take my card and everything. And, oh, here's the other one. So you see, I, I, I cut another one as well. And what I will do is, if I curl the wings back, like so, then if I choose to, I'm not gonna use this one today, but what I could do, see, when I do that, and I'm using my Sizzix tweezers, then you get that wonderful, sense of dimension and that could sit on top of that when it could sit across the bottom it could go anywhere you want but i'm just going to use the plain one for today but that does add a little extra something to it 
Now, I've got a card. This is my base card, and you'll see I've put some of my double-sided foam in place. Simply peel off the backing. It comes away like a dream. And then we'll place that there so we're using a little dimension what that means it does help when we have uh, the aperture cut out and you can see I wanted to show you the contrast because I wanted to show you the the card with the butterfly actually stuck in place but that's the great thing about die cutting and the great thing about Sizzix in general is that we put the creativity in your hands so whether you decide to go for these sets or others it doesn't really matter you're gonna have so much fun and they are great value. So go to hsn.com in the search bar at the top, press Sizzix, and you'll see these guys and lots more. Thank you very much for joining me today, and hopefully I'll see you again soon.